everyone. It's time for college baseball, the first of dozens of games here on CST. Today it's Arkansas and Louisiana Tech. Arkansas picked to finish first in the SEC West. And of course, uh, out of the whack, Louisiana Tech finished uh, picked to finish either second or third behind uh, preseason leader Fresno State already been a factor and this is only a second year yeah I think you're gonna like when you see his stuff uh, we mentioned that curveball that's a it's a it's a biter it's a nasty one and it is his best pitch his fastball will range from 88 to 92 his second best pitch he knows how to locate it pitches to both sides of the plate with a change up as his third pitch well coach Wade Semino of Louisiana Tech knows he's got something special in Jericho Jones Jericho Jones, he's a heck of a young man, I tell you. 4.0 engineering student, and a church going kid, and, and does everything the right way. Works hard and, uh, and really a, a, a pleasant surprise for us because we signed him as a pitcher only. And of course, Coach Roundtree comes in and has his videotape and says, Coach, you might want to look at this tape. I said, Tree, every pitcher wants to hit. I said, Jericho. We, so I looked at the tape. I said, well, you might have to check this guy out. Well, check him out. He did to the tune of uh, 16 home runs last year. Well over 350 batting average. He has finished his warm-up tosses. And we are set to go with a freight train rolling by in the background. You can hit one up into one of those coal cars. It would go forever, wouldn't it? Well, it would wind up in Chicago. <laughs> Somebody would find it uh, up in the Windy City. We're at Louisiana Tech. A smallish ballpark compared to most, but very well manicured here in early February. Line to left field. Duggar, who's been busy already, can't get it. It's over his head, bouncing around on the warning track. Hudson rounds third, the relay throw to the plate, and he is through at the plate. That was a great relay play, a head first slider. Yep, nut. Casey Kuhn and Brian Walker will take their swings against Jericho Jones. Jones struck out a couple and got Hamlin on a ground out. Nut rams one into right center field, and that's down on the warning track. Nut stumbled, now he's on his way to second base, and he is there with a not-so-graceful slide. That was a late... Baseball, even in February here in Ruston, that's uh, part of a sizable group out uh, beyond the right field wall. Oh, drinking that hot chocolate. <laughs> you reckon? <laughs> with those koozies? <laughs> Looked like brown hot chocolate to me. <laughs> nice head on that hot chocolate. <laughs> That's uh, apparently an apartment complex well beyond the left center field wall. And they're, they're getting excited about baseball here in Ruston. That's your life. Last night. Nothing Louisiana Tech. How did we get here? Well, the Texters have five base hits, as many as they had last night. And a big RBI hit right there by Brandon Hudson. And then with two outs, breaking ball. Courtney Jones banged it off the 370 mark. And look at this relay to home and terrific base running play right there. Nothing lead. Swinging a big stick in the first inning. Plays one on the outer edge. See what he does. Jim Smalling out of Raleigh, North Carolina, trying to make a name for himself here, and he can't do it. Wow. A big strikeout for Brandon Hudson, who gets Walker, Duran, and Smalling on strikes with the leading lady aboard. In relief of Sean Seibert, this is his second inning of work. That is belted deep to left field. Duggar is back, and you can kiss that baby goodbye. The first home run of the season for Louisiana Tech comes off the bat of Courtney Jones. And they like it here in Ruston. He was uh, teasing him with off-speed stuff, trying to set him up for that pitch inside. And the homestanding Louisiana Tech Bulldogs are out in front of Arkansas. Four to two, and the Razorbacks will take their swings in the seventh, that's got to be a popular place there, Ron. A little, a little heat and a little meat. They're doing it. 
That's great. You know, you, you end up in a dormitory where you where you got a, a where you center field view of, uh, of, of of a pretty good ball team. Nice little setting here. I understand the uh, facilities in Arkansas are outstanding. I mean, like big time baseball facilities. But this isn't too bad here in Ruston with the uh, Louisiana Tech Bulldogs. Got their little cage down the left field line covered. Well, that young man came out of left field, <laughs> gave up a two run double, and then proceeded to strike out three Razorbacks in quick order. Brandon Hudson in relief of Jericho Jones. Pitching has been pretty darn good for both sides in the first two games of the season. Yeah, you, you wonder what he was thinking, because I think he gave up that bases loaded double to Casey Kuhn, and then struck out three guys swinging. So you would think uh, if you're going to get nervous, that would be a good time to get nervous. What he did was strike out three guys. Pretty impressive. Several more weeks before we start seeing buds, but it is college baseball season, my friends, and we have got to see how they got it. It came early, two in the first. Boom, right there, Hudson, a single to score the first run of the ball game. Brandon Hudson, LA on top in the sixth inning. Here it was uh, Hudson on the mound as uh, he gives up a two-run single. That was all of their runs, but he struck out three straight, and that one right there was number three. Hudson the hero right now in the sixth inning. Courtney Jones goes long ball. Run number four for him, and he was up there again. And he bangs this one. It's a two-run single with the bags juiced. They would score five times in that seventh inning, and Courtney Jones is Sunset just about upon us. That's a beautiful sight. Isn't that, that is that is great lighting. Really neat looking. Looks better on our monitors than it does through the tint in uh, the press box uh, glass here. I mean, that's tough to light up. And there's that sunset you were talking about. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, you don't have to go to Hawaii to get a sunset like that, do you? It's an oil painting. Isn't it? Wow. That is spectacular. 22. Here comes the one, two. Change up, rammed into right field. That's what Duggar does. He hits, and he's going to second base. Somewhat of a gamble here, and he is out. Oh, it was Jones with the peg from right field of the shortstop win, and Duggar is thrown out at second base to end the ball game. That's funny. The starting pitcher just threw him out at second base. So, this is the way this victory for Louisiana Tech ends. Well, this is interesting, too. Here goes. Uh, Jones and he makes a pretty good move right here and I guess he's pretty hot. Yeah, he, he knew he had a good arm and a little over aggression there by Jake Duggar. And he's uh, he's the final out in this ball game. A, a, a very solid win for Louisiana Tech. They should feel very, very good about themselves. And there's the final score. Louisiana Tech nine, Arkansas two. It's a victory on its own field to level the series against Arkansas. Nine to the final. This is a big victory for Louisiana Tech, Ron. Uh, certainly Arkansas will be playing postseason baseball in June. Yes. But uh, for Louisiana Tech, certainly an early season foundation builder. Yeah, you'll hear plenty from Arkansas before this year is over. But Louisiana Tech right now, they outpitched them, out hit them, and nobody made any errors. This was a good ball game to watch. My friend, it was great working with you. Thank you. We'll see you again later on. I sure hope so. Well, thank you for joining us from J.C. Love Field in Ruston, Louisiana. We bid you to stay tuned later tonight. The Hornets are live from Houston, Texas, when they tip off against the Rockets. Our coverage starts at 6.30 with Hornets tonight, followed by the game. For Ron Swoboda, I'm Lynn Rollins. Once again, the final score from Ruston, Louisiana Tech 9, Arkansas 2. Good night from all of us.